to Namibia. This is the venue for the Rat Race Race the Wreck 2019 and we're here to carry out a full recce of the route. We have four test pilots on our crew, two of whom are going to be running and biking and two of whom are going to be running only. So today's first uh, leg of uh, four days of running. I think it's 50 kilometres. Um, we have been told that it is uh, mainly trail. There is some sand, well a lot of sand which we're wearing these ridiculous shoes um, but I think it's going to be quite a good little intro because we're not going to be sort of heading straight out onto dunes and falling down them and all that sort of thing. The other two team members Darren and Ali they've driven off um, and they're going to be starting 100 kilometres for the west. The idea is on bikes clearly uh, we're going to hopefully cover ground a little bit quicker than them so they've got 100 k to do over the next two days we've got 200 k to do and that's effectively going to bring us all together um, at the edge of the dunes and we're going to go into the dunes proper together. stay the obvious but it's hot. It's not as hot as it does get but it is hot enough. Water management is challenging like just keeping it going in at the rate it needs to. Salts, electrolytes, the terrain that we've just covered, single track. It's, uh, it's excellent, it's punishing. Day one, it was a pretty honest day out. Um, so just shy of 90k, I can feel myself really uh, really hurting in the middle. But it's superb, I mean the scenery is ever changing. Um, and yeah, absolutely fantastic day out. Going on day two. Yes, good morning. Um, mostly flat until that last little climb up here. Going to get soft from here, I understand, so I think it's going to get a bit more challenging. Today's June day, I'm sorry, I've got a mouthful of pit stop bar. We are six and a half miles in. Um, doing okay, it's about two hours, which is kind of, kind of good. So, the sand is like a massive energy sapper, like beyond anything I've ever experienced before. So even when you're walking with the sticks, um, it's horrendous. It's starting to get warm again. But we are about 11 and a half miles in starting to get a bit dozy because it's the same same old stride You're just slogging through the sand but it's uh, if it carries on like this for the rest of the day it's all right it's manageable just the, the heat slowly pounding down is uh, draining us slowly Desert, 
feeling it, definitely feeling it. After lunch, it was a real slog. Going on top of those dunes, that was a highlight of them uh, just earlier. Massive dunes and then just thundering down the side of it. Running down a dune can catch you out because some of them you run down and they're like super soft and you sink into it like at ankle deep. This last one caught us out because it wasn't like that, it was, <laughs> it was solid. So uh, Ali took a little tumble, so hopefully we got that on camera. Um, but we still just bounded down and it's just surprising you get that buzz of adrenaline so even after 25 miles of desert suddenly you're sprinting and giggling like uh, little school kids. It's undulating. There is sand, there are dunes, one or two. The dunes are like the most passive aggressive thing you've ever met. Like they're like, hey come here, come here, it's, all, it's hard. You start climbing it's up them. Hard. And they're like, tricked you, and they fall down on you. And then you get there, you're like, I hate you, I'm never doing you again. And you get to the top, you fly down the other side, and you're like, I love you again! And then you do that about 160 times. They are immense, you get up and you're just trying to choose your line every time to try and find the easiest way. The secret is there is no easy way. Today we finally finished day four, uh, around 27-ish miles. It's um, just been constant sand dunes and we're kind of going over a ripple of them towards the sea um, but there's about a mile gap in between each one and that's just flat some hard some soft sand and uh, then you just face an uphill slog where it, yeah, it might take 10 minutes to get up each one and your heart is pounding out your head it's brutal like the constant pushing on the sand and the sand just dropping away from your feet is mentally like one of the most difficult things i've ever done but um like it is, it's quite overwhelming as well because it's so beautiful and standing on these like tiny ridges and it's, you're like the king of the world but at the same time you're like the most knackered king of the world there ever was so brilliant but I'm done. Yeah, the Bowden lie next to us here, stubbornly sitting there in the sand dune, and uh, that was us pretty much the last couple of days, stubbornly uh, marching on. Um, very tough couple of days, but very rewarding. We did it! We crossed the desert! Yay! Today was day five of what was supposed to be end day four, but um, it was 13 miles and it was really tough. I think because you kind of know you're coming to the end, so your body starts to do the whole shutdown thing. And then obviously, as rat races like to do, they threw in a little obstacle, a little water obstacle, which was basically like walking, way through an estuary, knee deep in estuary mud, with water flowing for about a mile and a half. What a, what a fantastic rewarding place to finish, you know, this eerie ship landlocked in the middle of the Namib Desert. The nearest human is 300 kilometres away from us right now. You know, this is the epitome of solitude. And the job is done. It's awesome. Cheers. <laughs>